Hello, dear Oduwers. In the previous video, we learned about simple fields. Today, we'll see how we can add fields to a view. You see, I own a real estate agency, Sherlock Holmes. And although I love Odoo as it is, I need to customize a few things for it to fully meet the needs of my company. The first thing we're going to do is add a field so we can differentiate contacts looking to sell or lease a property from those looking to buy or rent one. Let's do it. Before you customize your database with Studio, you should first perform the changes and test them in a duplicate database. I've already duplicated my database here, so now I'm going to access the contact form and open Studio. Now, let's add a field to our contact form. As you can imagine, there are already a lot of fields available in Odoo, so you should always check if the field you want to add may already exist in the database before you add a new one. So here I'm going to check out the existing field first, right here, and look for something like contact or type maybe. Now that's not what I'm looking for. Now since the field doesn't exist, I will create a new one. I will choose a selection field in this case, and I can simply drag and drop it anywhere on the form. That's it. Now I just need to specify the values for this field, which will be owner, seeker, and maybe both option, and simply confirm. Now, first thing you may want to do in the properties on the left would be to first change the label to something like contact type. And you know what? I feel it would actually fit better in the, under the address block right here. Perfect. Now, instead of a drop-down list selection, I want these options to be displayed as radio buttons. So I'm going to change the widget to radio, just like that. By default, the options are displayed vertically, but I would like the display to be horizontal so that it takes up less space. Wait, and how do we save the changes? Right, good question. Changes are saved automatically every time we leave the field, as you can see right here. Now, we've added this field to the form view, but I also want to see it in the list view. So let's switch to the list view and add our field. Since we have already created field, we can now search for it in the existing fields. It was called contact type. Look, there it is. You can now simply select it and drag and drop it wherever you want on your list view. Let's close Studio and test it. Look at that. Our field is already there and ready to be used. Let def let's define this contact as an owner by using the radio button we've just added and switch back to the list view. As you can see, the field is there too. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Back to you in the studio.